Yeah, oh, I didn't get the main order yet. <laughs> Forty minutes. Can we do this? You know, the easier way of having to do this would be if we just walked over there by ourselves first while building the zip line, and then we'll come back here to pick this up and then use the zip line. <gasps> that actually sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Then we also don't have to worry about the timing too. Yeah, you know what? Let's try that out. Let's try that. I know forty minutes is probably way more than what we need, but wouldn't it be awesome? If we accepted something, and then the guy's like, oh, you only got 40 minutes, man! And then I'm there in like 30 seconds. That would be wonderful. Is that my stuff? Oh my god, that's the stuff on my truck. Oh, they're gonna... Oh, frick, it's gonna be lost cargo. Someone's gonna deliver it to me, probably. Oh, I was really hoping that it would just be in my truck, but uh, I guess we can't stay too far away. That's not good, though, because I have a lot of metals on that. Ceramics, too! Oh my gosh, no. No. That's awful. As far as I know... Okay, hold on. We gotta make sure of the location of the distribution center first. <laughs> if we wanna go with this plan. Oh, I'm so sad about my truck, because all my stuff... All the materials I picked up. It's a little circle, right? What if I get over there and there's already people fighting or something? Do I have any... All I got's a bullet gun. One that's not broken. 24 bullets. Is that gonna be okay? Yeah, you know what? Uh, that might be a good idea because I think we'll be fighting people. I get the impression that we might be seeing demons. So this is, uh... Like, we're not gonna take on the quest right now, but probably still useful for us to have some stuff here. Non-lethal assault rifle, I guess. Stun bomb. I don't even know what that means. What's the difference? One is lethal, one is non-lethal? Yes, but like, what's the functional difference? One kills people, one doesn't. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Stun bomb. Still haven't tried it yet. Suppose I can have one, just to have it. These are probably things I want on my back. It's getting a little bit high though. And then hopefully there's not going to be any rain here. Alright, so our mission is to get over here, I think. If we use a zip line, we don't have to adhere to anything, really. Uh, should I be going across like this, or should I be going back down the mountain and then like wrapping around? We do have one zip line right here. And I'm curious where that goes. But it would be even more awesome if we could just build one right here and have it connect. It's actually over there on that side. Oh, there is a time ball shelter. I don't know. Why don't we just do with a test one here? Make one that's right here. Yeah? I have five PCCs on me, and I think I need to test out the distances, too. No can do, Sam. Not Structures can't be built that close together. You'll need to settle for a different spot outside the sensor ring. Oh, outside permitted construction area. Why? Because we're still within the... Is it because of this? Here we go. That's it. Okay, so the line is red. Oh, okay. It tells us which ones it's connected to if I build one here. Okay. Then maybe in that case... Um... Let's go up on this hill here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, all of my cargo's been lost. That sucks. Should I build one right here? By the way, I'm also really low on power. If we see a generator, we're gonna have to run for it. Is the line the only problem here? 
Yes. So I can build one right here. And then maybe we can zip down over there. Wouldn't that be nice? I think the limit is 300 meters? I remember one of the instructions saying that. So this is... I mean, when are we gonna use this though? Is this a good location? It just seems really silly. But hey, for fun. We do have a chiral bandwidth to worry about, but I think we have so much that I don't need to worry about it. Oh, the battery's dead. Oh! Oh, scared me, guys. Hey, man! So it's safe over here? I can't give you likes. Hey, are you the same porter, or... Are all porters just like that? Thanks, man. I don't know what you gave me. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Thanks, guys. See you around. I'm guessing this is a nice way to go through? If you're all coming from this way. Can we make a zip directly to... the time ball shelter? Oh, there's a generator right there. I thought I might have seen one over on this side too, though. No? Okay, well, uh, give me a second then, because I would definitely love some battery here. That zip line, I'm hoping we can make a thing here to connect with it. Oh, I don't have it on me because it's on my floating carrier. Yeah, all these PCCs. I suppose that's okay. The stuff on my back? PCC level 1, we can put it down for now. Us with the boots and the blood bags. And even the ladders. Usually, we don't use ladders during emergency situations. Because what I think is, if it's an emergency thing... <laughs> look at this tower here. If it's an emergency thing, we should have it on our person. If it's not an emergency, then we should have it on the floating carrier. Anyway, though, I do need to walk over here just so I can get that generator. Why is it so far away? I can probably make my own one, but, um, yeah. Oh, ain't that lovely. God, nobody likes this. Go away already. All my materials. Is that why the land is so damp looking with all that dirt? Because it's perpetually raining here. Might be a good spot for that farm. Oh wow, there's a paper right here. We can contribute to it, but... Oh, this one's not that expensive. If I had my truck, I could do it here, but uh, I don't. And all the materials in my truck are gone, unfortunately. Okay. Let's get out of here. The distribution center is over that way. Mm hmm. Is that lightning? My gosh. Get out of the rain! Yes, I can still see the zip line from here, so that's good. Oh, it's just raining in general now. It's not even just within this area. If we can get a zip line right over here, that would be nice. No. These are pretty inexpensive, all things considered, because it only costs a PCC. Yeah, can you please spray my cargo as well? Thank you. How far away? Road construction area. Oh, there's gonna be a road here. Any structures built on ground set aside for road construction will be dismantled. Here is okay. Not a post box. 
Ah, okay, okay. It can't connect to that one, but it can connect to this one. Let's see if we can't get it further. Because I know the limit is like 300 meters, so we can definitely try to see if we can push the limit here. Cargo detected? Mine. We can keep going, actually. Why don't we keep going? If we want to maximize the effectiveness, then we definitely don't want to build them too close together. Oh, but the road's gonna go this way. There we go. Nice. Can I still make one here? Oh, whoa! A rainbow right in front of me. I think we might be able to, but it's just that it's starting to get so far away that we might not be able to see it. Yeah, let's keep going, man. I want to get the best bang for my buck here. I think this is about as good as it gets. Yes, 300 is the limit. And this is okay, right? No roads are going to be here. Heck yeah! Once we build this, it's gonna be so good. We're just gonna walk back and then zip, zip, zip. And then it'll be all good. So the path that we've chosen to take in is not cutting across the mountain, but going across the road area here, which is fine. Oh, but that also makes the zipline a bit useless once the road does get built. Which is a big if, so it's, it's still gonna be useful and it'll be fun. So it's fine. We have a factory here. So the the bad thing about that zip line there is that it's on pretty low ground. We have to make sure that we can see the next place that we want to um, put it at. There's so many. Nothing interesting around here. I don't think. Wow, it's actually right next to that crater. Climbing roots. I'm not sure what this building is. Five PCCs. Is it enough to make a road that goes to distribution center? Maybe not entirely, but I think it'll be still a good stretch. And I still see it here. Yeah, we got plenty of room for this. Keep going. Although it would be nice if we can be a little bit more mindful to make it in a high place next time. Like on top of a rock or something. Oh, you can still sort of see it. Yes. Probably not behind this rock though. So this one, we might have to cut it a bit short. Or not. Wow, we're out of battery already, but there is a generator right here. So the zip line takes- oh! Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was gonna say the zip line takes about 500 bandwidth, but we have like 12,000. Sorry, BB! Sorry, BB! It'll be really fun, okay? Once we get the zipline built. Don't cry. There you go. Yeah, give me those heart bubbles. You know you want to. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, we even have the Audra deck pointing right at them. My boots are starting to run out, but I think we're okay. I've got two brand new pairs on me. Oh, we're eating because we tripped earlier. <laughs> Ground is a bit uneven. 
Oh, this is a bit out of range now. Now we want to stay away from the roads, probably. Yeah, getting my bang for my buck. Hey, a truck! This building, what the heck? Oh! Okay, that's basically saying that we're gonna see some dead bodies soon. It's the incinerator. I don't even know if we have to go in here for now. And I hope we'll never have to, but... If there is gonna be dead people... Then that's not something we get to choose. It's been so long since we've seen an incinerator. Which reminds me that sometime... I don't know when. When would be a good timing, but we can go back to the other place. What? When did I leave that? That's a custom one, too! Where did I leave it? When I tripped earlier? I don't even know. Whatever. Herman will give me more later on. It'll be fine. Way station? We can pick that up later on, maybe. Just wondering about what that tower up there is. Is that a pre-built tower? A wash tower. Oh, that might be good for the distribution center, actually. Well, we keep going. There's a lot of generators around here because people are building generators by the roads. Wanna drink some monster energy? Corallium gauge. Why not? Thank you. Hey, we're seeing some different vegetation here. Trees? Really not liking the look of that incinerator, though. In addition to the armor plate they just gave me. I mean, that's a pretty telltale sign that we're gonna be running into some human combat soon. Now, more PCCs. We gotta get it from here. Five. How far can five get me? If the distance between them is 300 and 300 and 300. So we can go about 1500 meters. In total. I wonder how this one works online though, because if we do it too far apart, then people... People might not see all my zipline points, and maybe it's not going to be useful for them. So in that case, maybe we don't want to put it like super far away from each other. I don't know though, we'll see. Are we getting close? Yeah, it's over there. We can build a zipline on top of the hill. That would be awesome. Hey, maybe it's not a good idea for me to do 300 meters all the time. Does it anyway. It's gonna be so cool, okay, once we do this. It's starting to look like a nature park around here. We've never stuck around to watch one get built. No, I want to get the... Oh, no, no, no. I wanted to get some crypto biotes. That's okay. Let's get a move on. Maybe because I have a lot of cargo on me, but the battery goes pretty fast for my thing. Lana's is pretty jagged here. Footwear. Uh... <laughs> Why are you telling me that? Please don't. You're making this very scary for me. Oh, I can change my boots here. That's right. Let's try doing it. Get into the habit of using this menu instead. But I do want to see what the heck is going on here. Yeah, there's a reason why there is an accident. 
Okay. Shh. Yeah, is it a good idea for me to have come here without the quest? Without the mission? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out later on. Now, this is gonna be important here because... I built a zip line over here, but we're going downhill, so I'm not going to be able to see the zip line anymore, unless if I build one that's closer in distance. That's a bit of a um, annoying thing. Well, let's give it a try first, because I don't think the lines can go over the rocks, right? <laughs> Pretty obviously not. Yeah, so this is... Mm, probably better for me to find a higher location here, just to... Like, right here. Really? This is really close, but I guess that's just how it's gonna be. Okay. Oh, this one might not be a good one, because I feel like it's not even close enough to the edge to make it really useful. Uh... I thought I saw something weird about that tree over there. We have a lot of cargo with us. Which is bad in terms of... If we have some mules here. Oh, wow, that is... I think we should get ready for... Combat. Yeah? Maybe let's not worry about the ziplines for now. Probably better for us to have a bola gun equipped. What? Well, that was fast! <laughs> I got distracted! Something fell off from me. Why? What was that? This is a level 1 one. No, let's use a level 2. I think it's okay. If we kind of stick around the edge of the mule place... Why don't y'all just come over here? I'm ready for a fight. And probably what I'll do is, I'll even detach the carrier. Come at me, people. I have the high ground. And you have a truck. <laughs> Who's gonna win in this case? Oh, but you might have guns, right? That was a thing about why you're giving me armor plates to begin with. No, that was a bit not so good. Whoa, they are definitely shooting at me. And the tree! The bullet gun's getting caught in the tree! Oh, okay, this is not good land. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know what? Non-lethal gun might be better here. These guys... These are not mules, right? These are demons. And they're definitely... Helping out each other. What? Wait, hey! Dude! Okay. Gotta eat some crypto biotes if I can. We gotta kick them while they're down. Oh, why are you like this? Oh my gosh. Please, thank you. These are not mules. Kick him! <laughs> this guy's not kicked. Holy gosh! Crypto biotes? Crypto biotes! Uh, I might not be able to get him. I don't have infinite ammo, so. This might be very bad for me, but I do have a lot of crypto biotes. Is 
it's probably... <laughs> it's kind of crazy that I'm, that I'm still using the bullet gun, right? They probably want me to use a gun here. Oh, this guy's already fainted for whatever reason. Hey! Hey, you! Okay, that's it. We have one more shot on this gun. Mm-hmm. But we also have a second bullet gun. Which we don't have on us right now because it's probably one of the things I dropped off earlier. Hold up. It's right here. Oh, that's anti-BT handgun. No. Okay, we only have 14 shots on this. Anybody not knocked out yet? Who would like to be? Oh, I should pick up their handgun, because I don't... If I use a handgun, though, they'll die. I don't think we have enough... Bola gun ammo here. Oh, shoot! Oh, that guy's gotta be kicked! Or just smashed and decked! Okay, so I don't think those guys have noticed I'm here yet. Or if they have, they're not coming over. And this is why it was probably... <laughs> if I had used that watchtower, then that would be great, but we didn't, so... We gotta live with what we've done here. Okay, let's uh think a little bit, okay? First of all, where is the distribution center? Here. Once we get all these guys out of the way, we can use a zip line, no problem. But we have 14 bola gun bullets. And I have a tendency to miss too. And there's it definitely feels like there's more than 14 guys here. Do I have anything else on me? That is remotely useful. Did I not make a non-lethal handgun earlier? Stun bomb. Rendering human targets unconscious and immobilizing vehicles. You know what? That might be good. Are you coming? I feel like they're looking over here, but they're not walking over here. I can hide, but not with my cargo. It's been a long time since I've succeeded, or even tried, with stealthing these guys. Is there any cargo I can leave down here to pick up later on? Yes, non-lethal assault rifle, I can use that. Let's drop all of the BT stuff for now, because it's not gonna help. Handgun is lethal. I don't think I want to use this. I know I picked it up. We'll have it just in case, but like... Oh. I still want so much crap on my back right now, so we can hide a little bit better. Yeah, we need to make a better bullet gun. <laughs> Okay, we'll just have to live with this. We do have some armor plates, which hopefully helps out with the damage taking. Have you noticed? Just out of curiosity, I can use a strand too. Forget it. Whoa, this guy's tough. He is tough. And he detected me right away. Can I still hide? Hmm, I can try using a stun gun, which is what I was gonna do anyway, but then that guy ran towards me. Unconscious? Are you all going unconscious or not? 
Do I have to do something else other than just stunning them? Or, like, do you want me to use a bulligan on them too? That's one. No, the other guy just fainted. I don't think they even needed the... Okay. Crypto biotes. Oh my gosh, I don't have any blood bags on me. Do I really not? So bad. Are we good here? I don't think so. Oh, there is a memory chip. Mm, so for future reference, stun bombs are good in batches. Oh my gosh, that's rude. Somebody freaking peed on the bed. I'll join you. Or maybe I'll pee on the other bed. Just have to hold it in. What? How did they manage to do that? How come I can't? You whip it out with them just looking right at you. Yeah, like fuck you are. <laughs> Is somebody still here? They've gotta be. There's a lot of materials here, so that's nice. Is somebody not fainted? I even wasted an extra bola gunshot on one of the guys who were stunned by the stun bomb already. Are there guys in the camp over there? I can't imagine that somebody would still be so clueless as to not have noticed the fighting in their own camp. Don't be afraid. It's noticeably a bit harder for us to melee these guys as opposed to the mules though. These guys are more armed, they have actual guns, because they're terrorists. Their reason for being here is because they want to cause damage. Now I wonder, I can build a zipline here, but in the future, when the terrorists come back, then how is that gonna work out? Am I just gonna zip past the terrorists? Oh, we're still a bit of ways. I don't think we have enough zip lines, but but we can still make a pretty good dent. Uh, probably right now, what I should do is go back and get the floating carrier, though. Well, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> I get the impression that we're not really gonna be able to stealth any of this, just cause I don't know. Feels hard. And I definitely prepared for the wrong thing here. There were BTs at the foot of the hill coming to this place. But after that, it's all humans. These things, though. Do you guys have anything useful for me? Smoke grenade? I'll take that. I don't feel very well prepared. Especially because I think it took all of my blood bags. Like, if I notice my draining health earlier, then I can eat crypto biotes. But if I don't... Oh my god, you know what? Was I just not using it? What? It's not attached to me. Yeah, why is it not attached to me? It's in the utility pouch, but it's not... using. Yeah, if you're carrying multiple blood bags, a new bag will automatically be switched as soon as the current one is emptied. I wonder why it's not working properly. Oh well, I mean, we're done anyway, so... Done fighting. Maybe that's something I'll just have to worry about later on. Okay. Now back to what I was doing here before the guys rudely interrupted me. Mm -hmm. This one we can probably go pretty far, because we're going downhill. So the full 300 meters is probably okay. I just wonder about what it's gonna be like once they come back, and then are we just gonna zip past their camp? 
seems kind of crazy. There are some trees here, though, so I don't know if this is going to work out. Yeah, oh gosh, the trees! Y'all ruining my plans. Oh, uh, there was a vague spot. Maybe over here? Steep slope detected. <laughs> they had a lot of different terrain here for me to hide from the people, but I just kind of got detected immediately, and that was the end of that. Oh, can you not do this? This is really not good. Yeah, 130 meters! I wish we could go a bit further, but I feel like if we do... It'll be harder for us to find a good spot. Like right now, it already seems impossible for us to find the right spot. Oh! There is one little spot here. Well, we can keep trying. Pick up. Stop it, creepy rainbow. I don't got time for you. Yeah, I think there's just gonna be too many trees here. This one is okay. Yeah, okay. Kind of narrowly avoiding their camp. And I want everything to connect right now, but even if they're not connected, it's still useful. Hey, look at that rock. Yeah, there's a post box right here. I don't think I even checked the one back there. What you got for me? Any goodies? Whoa, that's a lot of ceramics. I wish I could carry that. God, underwear all the way here? Oh, I really wish I could carry all of that. Hey, if we bring it to the distribution center, it might work out. How many can I bring? Not that many. No, I don't want to bring it on my back. If we can't bring it, then that's sad, but that's just the way it's gonna be. I'll bring as many as I can. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Because it's staying here is just useless. Wait, if we go there without a quest... Well, I'm glad we didn't pick up the quest because 40 minutes alongside that fight just now seemed kind of scary. But, um... Yeah, I just wonder how the people will react to me. Hey, why does the rainbow keep following me? Please stop that. I think we're on our last PCC here. And we're also at the edge of the chiral network too, so that's... Wonderful. <laughs> Does that mean that this is a good time for me to go back? It might be. Yeah, because I'm gonna go back now, and then pick up the delivery, and then come back here. Yeah? I think that makes sense. Do I not have any more PCCs? Can I bring my floating carrier with me on the zipline? Oh, I guess that was my last one. Hmm. Well, perfect! Because we made it to the edge of the place anyway, and then we'll just walk over there. And hopefully there's not going to be anything on the way back. Oh, this is going to be fun! Are you ready? Are you ready? If this doesn't work the way I think it does, then I'm gonna... Um, probably gonna cry. <laughs> Hold up, hold up. If we upgrade them, maybe the distances get a bit wider, further. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, hey. Oh 
Oh my gosh, please don't tell me it's the floating carrier. Ah! If I leave it here, they're gonna be like, oh, uh, lost cargo available for delivery by other people. God damn it. Hmm. I mean, I'm just leaving it here for a little bit, but I'm just scared it's gonna become lost cargo later on again because we're obviously going really far away. Just like my truck full of materials. So sad. Anything absolutely necessary for me? Guess I'll bring the power skeleton with me. Honestly, though, doesn't seem like there's too much that's super useful here. I'll bring the lost cargo, obviously, because we're going back there right now. Yeah, all three. And if possible, we really should be resting in a private room too, because we need the bullet gun to come back. Okay, you stay safe, alright? I'm really hoping you're still here when I come back. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, zip. Oh! Oh! Keep zipping! Yeah. Oh, who needs roads? Check this out! We can even carry dead bodies and bring them back to the incinerator if we have to. <laughs> yeah, I didn't quite get to optimize it towards the end there, but 300. These 300 ones are really putting in work. Oh, this is lovely. Yeah. Now we're gonna have to make it to the distribution center if we want to continue the zipline network. But for now, I'm happy. Woo! Double rainbow all the way! Uh. It's not a good sign. <laughs> that means double BTs too. Hey, there's a bridge here now, for some reason. Yeah, look at that though, I'm too far away from my floating carrier. Woo! Don't need to go to that one, so thank you very much. Oh wow, just look at how fast that was. Amazing. If we had one that goes directly to the front of the way station, that would be even better. Hey, don't steal my cargo, please. Please! Scan. Scan bridges, I'm gonna come back to pick it up right away, okay? But that's a limitation. We can only carry stuff on my back when I'm using that. So not much cargo. Oh my god, look at all the blood. My blood. You're a saint, Sam. Thank you. Yamaha RD500LC. Another car? Thank you for your contribution. Here's your lost cargo. Now we have a rough idea of how many places, how far five zip lines can get us. It kind of depends though, on obstacles like trees, elevation. Hey, it's Sam Bridges. Good to see you, man. Oh, Sam, you know, you're just about the only thing we've got to smile about these days. That's all right. I'll make sure you have more things to smile about in the future. Armor plate level two. Good, good, good. Guess I'll be seeing you around then. See ya. Good work. New order available. Now, we can do another bot delivery. How did this one go? Cargo damage is fairly low. Hey, ain't that nice. 
another A. Wonderful. The bots are getting better. Automatic coffee making kits. Well, if you want to do it, sure. I'm not going to stop you. It's the craftsman. Autonomous delivery if the bot delivery can push me to five stars with him, that would be absolutely amazing. Not going to count on it, though. We do have some lost cargo here, so hopefully... Eh, who knows? When we get back, or when the bot makes it over there. Either way, five stars is coming. Okay, okay. Now we get this. This is blood. Sam, the distro center north of Mountain Knot City's put in an urgent request. One of their staff is in critical condition following that accident I told you about. I don't know what kind of injuries he sustained, but they're asking us to deliver blood products. This is a life or death situation. Get the cargo there before it's too late. Thankfully, we can choose when to start this. Okay, so from now on, you'll be in critical condition. This particular type of armor can provide full body protection. It can be worn on the shoulders and legs, and the more pieces you equip, the greater the cumulative effect. However, it requires power to function, so don't let your batteries run dry. Oh my gosh, everything needs power. The battery will gradually recharge in sunny or cloudy weather. In addition to absorbing bullet damage, the plating can now also help to soak up impact taken elsewhere on the body by means of electromagnetic something. But it also means that I can attach less cargo on me. I'm fine for now, thank you. Mm-hmm. When we get back there, do you think... Remember, Sam. When the clock's ticking, speed is what matters most of all. Yes. Review your gear and bring only what you need to make it to your destination as fast as possible. I got it, man. I planned ahead with my zipline network. Woo! This is gonna be great. They're gonna be so proud of me. It's gonna be smooth sailing. I just wonder, when I get back there, is my floating carrier still gonna be next to the zipline? That's what I wonder about. If not, then it might be a bit of a trouble. Well, we'll see. I'm sure we'll be fine either way. Weapons restrictions lifted. Hello, my beloved zipline. How are you today? I am really looking forward to riding you again. I'm gonna time this. I mean, we don't even have to. All we have to do is look at the time here. So it's 39.25 right now. Woo! Looking good, Sam. Look at BB! <laughs> Wait, I just noticed a text. Bridges staff at the Capital Not City North Distribution Center expected to die in 30 minutes. <laughs> Why can't you just say the blood expires in 30 minutes or something? No, he is expected to die in 30 minutes. Oh, I forgot to charge my battery. That's okay. I probably should have stopped there to get the generator, but hey, it's too late now. So it's officially been just about a minute since we've been on the zip line. And what do you know, my floating carrier is not here. <laughs> the one I've been using since the beginning! Oh man, I don't even have an extra one on me. That's okay though. If nothing goes wrong, I think all we gotta do is walk over there, pretty much. Out of curiosity. Are the mules back? I don't think so. They better not be. BB! You like all the jumps? We can continue our zipline network once we get to the center and connect it. But right now we got um 
We gotta help out this guy. I think it'll be smooth sailing, though. Except it's not exactly perfect, because I didn't get battery earlier. Oh shoot, you've gotta be joking me, there's more? More mules? Okay, I didn't plan for that. <laughs> so this might be a problem here then. I really want to just run. I don't... Because mm, we're actually on a time limit here. And I don't... Um, oh, I can use a power skeleton at least. Does it work though? Because I don't have any energy. I don't have any power. Remove cargo and equip. Uh, it'll make me walk a little bit easier. It's gonna remove that cargo there. Not sure if this is a better idea or not, but we'll try it. Because it does make the stack of cargo higher, which means we'll have a harder time avoiding whatever's here too. Whether it be terrorists or mules. I'm really hoping we can walk around this area. And now that we're in non-chiral network territory, we can't expect to see a generator. Do I have a PCC on me? Oh, but I can't make one anyway, right? Because I'm not on the network. But it's okay, I don't have to worry because I don't have a PCC on me anyway. <laughs> I feel like I've lost a lot of cargo today. Not really lost in the traditional sense, but really just because I've left them behind and they are gone. Does that mean that my truck is gone? That's so sad. We should be able to get around the mules. Or terrorists. And it's good to know that the roads will eventually get over here too, but not fast enough. There we go. Uh, it's very foggy here. All we know is that there is a center. But by walking here, are we walking into mule territory? For now, I don't see anyone bad. If we stick to the pavers, I think we'll be okay. There we go. Yeah, quiet walk. Not quite the five-minute delivery that we were hoping this will be, but just yeah, seven minutes, less than ten minutes. Not that bad. Hey, please don't tell me that. Are there enemies around here? No, right? So don't tell me that. <laughs> You're scaring me. We can see it. Oh, look, a butterfly. You know, ever since the very, very beginning, where we saw that one goat? Deer? We've never seen another animal again. I get what they're going for. It's isolation. That's why we don't see animals here. Now get it done, Sam Porter Bridges. But it just seems to not make sense that we saw one in the beginning, and now we don't have one. <laughs> oh yeah, boy, we're making it. We are making it. Compared to the roads, the zip lines, they're much easier to make. But the downside is that we can't bring too much cargo with us. Only what's on our back. Okay, so yeah, I guess in the end, we still need roads. Zip lines are not replacements. But they are good if we want to just get somewhere quickly. Come on, boy, I know you can do it. If only we had a car. Sometimes the wind scares me a bit because it sounds like... Oh, look at that giant rain cloud. Let's do this. Don't like it. It's so fast moving. I don't like it. Has it been a while since I've walked or what? 
This feels like it's so far away. And oh my god. Oh, this is not a ravine. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Would still be nice if we can use a ladder here. Whoa. Do I have one? No, because they were all on my floating carrier. I really thought it would still be here, but they just took it away from me. Can I climb this? Ugh, a bit difficult. But we've seen much worse. We'll be fine. I don't know if the power skeleton's helping. If it's not, then maybe I should save my battery for the speed skeleton. We're carrying a little bit today, getting a bit of a hunchback here. Okay, this was smooth sailing. We didn't run into anybody. <laughs> but our time. We basically spent like a minute and a half on the zip line and the rest of it running over here. Not even running, but more like crawling. But we're here. That's what matters. Whoa, this truck. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. I'm here. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo I think that was a good idea though, overall. Whoa. Okay, I see we need some renovations pretty badly here. I was gonna say that it was a good idea that we made the network first and then traveled on it. Because could you imagine if I was carrying all this blood, the delivery here, and trying to fight all those demons at the same time? That probably would have been pretty stressful. Does this place work? I guess so, but it looks pretty bad on the outside. The further west we get, the more derelict everything is gonna be, I think. Yes! We've done it! 15 kgs of blood coming right up. Medical personnel. Our should have no trouble patching them up now. You're a lifesaver. I can't believe how fast you were. Me neither. Hey, watch yourself out there. You're ashamed to lose someone with your skills. Ah, if we had energy, maybe we would have even gotten a better compliment than that. Nine minutes? Not so bad, I suppose. Could have been faster, though. <laughs> like I said, we spent so much time walking. Dang it, man. That was a long way, though. Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> Please, BB. Was it an accident, by the way? Was it an attack? I figured. Someone slipped explosives into a parcel we processed. Separatist assholes think this land is theirs for the taking. They may be right. Any one of us could have handled that package. Fuck me. We have to be more careful. Beef up our security. At least we didn't lose anyone this time. Thank you, Sam. Really. I, uh... I hear the chiral network is coming along. You think the signal's strong enough to reach us here? <sighs> I hope so. Give it a try. Huh? I'm still all bloodied up. Would be really nice if we could get a shower here. I like how this animation is slightly different every single time. It's ever so slightly, the camera angles. Yes! Lovely. Assault rifle level 2. Do I really want to kill people? I don't think so. Philip North. 
Non-lethal assault rifle. Near-death experience. There we go. It worked? Oh, oh that's great. We've been starving for info. And if we run into any more trouble, we can get the word out sooner. I can't thank you enough. How'd you even get the word out this time? I'm impressed. Alright, Sam. There aren't any more stops to make before Mountain Knot City. But this last leg will be the hardest yet. Rest up at the private room and check your gear before you set out. Hmm, this sounds like a good time for me to backtrack a little bit then, huh? Maybe we'll get to that incinerator back in the first area. <laughs> Are we allowed to build roads in the first area? I don't remember seeing pavers there. Oh goody, it's been a while. Jesus, why are you he Oh, Jesus. Even as people came, they finally reached Edgenoth City. There's no escape for me now. Everyone's dead, the city's destroyed, and what's left is crawling with BTs. They're everywhere. Where's your Kipu? But I was able to sneak away and reach out to you. This might be our last chance to talk like this. I just wanted you to know that I'm safe. For now. It's really gone. Promise me you'll keep building the chiral network. It's our only hope for the future. It's my only hope for freedom. And when you've finished, we can go back east together. Amelie, your keeper, where is it? Quit ignoring me! Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Why y'all gotta be like that? I'm asking you a question! Answer me, you're so rude. It's always about what they want from me. Sam, do this, do that. And you can't even answer a question when I ask you it. Let's not even talk about answering the question. She's not even acknowledging that I said the question. That's the annoying part. Ugh!